Hey y'all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super pumped because Unearthly Cosmetics sent me two of their palettes and I'm gonna be putting them in two separate videos, but the first one that I wanted to start off with was the Sorceress Smoke Palette. Also, I can't explain why, but whenever I read Sorceress Smoke, I think it's because it's in the same cadence, I wanna sing the Augustus Gloop song from the new Willy Wonka movies. So like, Augustus Gloop, Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop, Augustus Gloop, the great big great evening come poop. Don't know why. So if I'm like sorcerer smoke, sorcerer smoke, and I guess it's not the same cadence at all. Whatever. Look, we're gonna sing together. We're gonna laugh together. We're gonna live, laugh, love together. This palette does retail for $65 and it is on its second pre-order with an estimated ship date of mid to late November as of right now. But let's take a look at this. I've done swatches, but I have not yet put this on my eyes. I wanna do a look with this, but first I wanna show you this packaging. It's really cool actually. Like this is some sturdy packaging and Unearthly Cosmetics is always really good about that. They're always really good about making sure that your shit is not gonna be broken by the time it comes to you. So we do have this box that it comes in with the protective foam and then you have the actual palette and everything matches, but I love this kind of like smoky green vibe. It is so dreamy. Then you have the regular old cardboard packaging with the palette inside. And this is a slim, lightweight cardboard packaging palette. But what's great is that we do have a full size mirror inside if you use those. Also, sound off in the comments. Do you use the mirrors in an eyeshadow palette? Because I never do. I will either use a big mirror that's in front of me or I will use a handheld mirror if I need to get really close, like one with uh, kind of like a handle on it. So I don't know. But anyway, this is the color story. I feel like I say this a lot, but when I first saw this color story, I was pretty, not uninterested, but I wasn't like jumping out of my seat for it, okay? It was not until I did the swatches that I saw it all come together and started effing swooning, okay? This color story is beautiful and it makes so much sense once you see it all laid out. Like for example, I was very concerned, if you wanna use that word, about vision, okay? Which is that peachy pink, but it goes together with everything. And then when I did the swatches under a flash, that's when you could see the sparkle come out. And the sparkles are insane in this palette. I was gonna say in this palette, no. Unearthly cosmetic sparkles are insane. Their mattes are insane. The quality is really, really, really good. So this is only the second palette from Unearthly. No, I'm sorry, the third that I'm gonna try on my eyes. The first was the Don't Be Jelly palette, which I absolutely love and I use it actually fairly often. The second is the palette that my friend Heather Austin did with them, the Resurgence palette, which is beautiful and vibrant and the colors are creamy and pigmented. And this is gonna be my third and every shade swatched like a dream. It is just, it's so beautiful. I keep looking at it because it's, a lot of people would see this I'm sure as a neutral palette, which it is, but it's got those kind of like grungy undertones that I love. And it's just, I, I keep saying dreamy, it's so dreamy. So I'm not sure what kind of look I wanna do with this today. I'm not sure whether I want to do a quote unquote, like push myself out of my comfort zone look or whether I really wanna dig in to these like, and do like a, just a smoky kind of like brown look, maybe with some shimmer, like maybe this transfixed, like it's so hard to see how blue that shimmer is. Why can I not see it? What way do I have to shift you? Maybe we just need to do a swatch. Okay, so this is like a green blue shimmer, green blue to gold. Why does it only look gold on camera? I swear to you that the green is in there. So. Hmm, I don't know actually, like I, I'm so tempted to stick to these greens, but I will not. And I think I'm gonna stick to this area right here. Like maybe, I don't know if I'll use all seven of these shades, but I think I'm gonna stick there and see what I can do. Basically my hope for this is that just, it's a similar quality to their other palettes. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with Vision, which is that pinky tone. It's kind of like pinky peach. And make sure you tap these off because these are so pigmented, they do, you know, a little bit does go a long way. So you wanna make sure that you are not getting it all over your face. So I'm gonna tap this to start just in my usual way. And then I'm going to bring this very gently, kind of high up in the crease. I do find that their shadows are pretty effortless too. Um, I feel like they might be able to get out of hand though, if you're not, if you don't like build them up slowly like I'm doing right now, but it's so pretty, like this shade, 
it's so pretty and you all know like I don't wear pinks often I don't use pinks often but like this is the kind of like neutral peachy pink I would use will use all the time all right I'm happy with that just kind of as a base down and then I think mm, okay by the way this brush is stained blue there's nothing else on it I think I'm gonna dip into prophecy this is sort of like a camel brown color oh don't don't drop this and with that, I'm going to take that and kind of build this crease up a little bit just to warm this up. That's a nice color. That's like a nice neutral. It definitely does lean very warm, very warm, like almost orangey, borderline orangey. But I like this color, actually. This is kind of a one and done shadow for me. That's just going deeper in the crease. These colors are blending together so nicely, too. That took like two seconds. They're making this so easy. Look at this. I've been like barely touching my own face. I'm going to take a more flat brush and I, mm, I don't know if I want to go in with intention or soot. Let's start with intention. It's a very kind of deep brown, but it's not like too dark. I think it'll deepen up the look but maybe not as much as I'm hoping for. Yeah, I mean, that's that's nice and it definitely does deepen it up, but I think that that's not the vibe I'm going for. God, that's really pretty though. And that specific color makes my eyes look really blue for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna go take that same brush very gently into soot because this is a very pigmented, very dark color and I'm gonna go in slowly and I can always build it up, but I really wanna deepen this corner. There we go, I think that's kind of the darkness that I was looking for. Blending it out with some Prophecy and following that up with some more of the pinky peach, which is Vision. Ooh, see, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to just do like the kind of look that you already know you're gonna feel confident in. And I know like a lot of people that I follow really hate neutrals, but I am still a neutral loving bitch, friends. I love these shades all mixed. I love them. Okay, so it is time for sparkle. I'm gonna do two, and I can't decide whether I wanna do, I think I'm gonna do Sorceress. So Sorceress is, let's see if I can swatch this on my hand that already has so much glitter on it. So Sorceress is this very unique color in that it has like gold and pink undertones, but there's definitely like rainbow sparkle in there. It's really, really cool. It's kind of unique to my collection. Yeah, it definitely is because it shifts from pink to gold and there's like green bits in there and even like some blue in there. It's just so cool. Also, I have to say, I recently had seen somebody who did this where they have their brush container and then they have a separate container for all the dirty brushes so that they know like when it's time to clean my brushes, I just need to clean these and blah, blah, blah. Mine is getting full. <laughs> my dirty brush thing is getting full and I've already used three brushes and I'm about to use a fourth. Cool. So I am going to take some NYX glitter glue. That's a little much. And I'm going to apply this all over the lid. I'm gonna be using two different colors here, but I'm gonna be going kind of right up to the crease. Just, I think Betty Jean always says she's tucking it in. So I'm gonna tuck it in there. And again, I'm gonna go first into Sorceress, which is this multicolored sparkle. And when I tap my brush, nothing came off at all. And I'm gonna press this in. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The pink really shines in this for me, like that pink sparkle coming out, but it's like a champagne pink. Oh my gosh, I love this. And I am gonna have to go back in and like blend this out and deepen this edge quite a bit, but that is so pretty. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Tiny bit more of soot just to really deepen this up. So I will say this might be my blending, but it is disappearing a little bit right there. I don't know how much you can see, let me see if I can build it back up and if it'll stay there. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but soot, that really deep color, is sort of disappearing right there. Now, that might be my base, that might be the shadow, that might be the way my foundation is reacting today, I don't know, but I did want to let you know. And while that is still tacky, I'm flipping over this brush and using the other side and I'm going to go into Potent, which is really just like a proper gold. 
Now I do suggest with these using some sort of a glitter glue because these are such intense sparkles there could be a bit of fallout if you don't use glitter glue or, and you won't get it to like its full opacity. I did get a tiny bit of glitter there but I think that's because I let the glue dry too long but that is so pretty. The one in the inner corner is just like a perfect like gold sparkle and then the one on the outer corner is like champagne but has that pink tone to it. I really like that. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any patchiness with soot on this side. So I am thinking that over here, it's either from the eyeshadow primer that I used or my foundation or something. So I do not think that that is a fault of the shadow. I do think that that is a fault of something else. I'm also going to take some potent to just blend these two colors together really, really lightly. I think this is really pretty. I actually, the sparkles on this are beautiful. This is very much like a Linda look and I'm trying to decide if it would ruin it if I put green on the bottom and then topped it with like some of the sparkle. Yeah, why not? Let's just do this. I'm gonna take this very tiny brush. This is the A504 by BK Beauty. It's the Angie Hot and Flashy set. And I'm going into herbal, which is really, really beautiful, like mossy green color. And I'm just gonna apply that right under my lash line. Let's see if you can even see it. It's a little hard to see. I feel like this is something that would benefit from a base of some sort. That's actually very, very, very pretty. Once you build it up, you can definitely see it and it's just like it's a really nice color like it actually looks kind of perfect on the lower lash line then again mossy dirty grungy greens are you know my favorite in the whole wide world oh do i even want to add sparkle on the bottom i don't know that i do i think i just want to go in with some of this eucalyptus maybe which is a little bit deeper and really press that into the lash line right on the outer edge to define it look at me using the mirror in a palette <laughs> That is a really cool look. Oh, I really, really like that. I don't even think I want, you know what? I don't even want to add a wing today. What I want to do is I'm going to take a flat brush. This is from Alamar Cosmetics, very old. And I'm just going to take soot on that brush and I'm going to press this into my lash line here just to kind of like define it, but also, you know, kind of bulk up my lashes a little bit. So I think I'm going to stop here with the shadows. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I used eight out of 12 shades. It's not my best that I've ever done, but it's a look I'm really happy with that I could see myself wearing all the time. So I'm gonna hop off camera. I am going to clean up this glitter fallout by just taking some scotch tape and getting that off. There's very, very little, like I've got like one there and like a couple right here. It's not bad. And the matte shadows, no fallout at all. So I'm gonna go clean that up. I'm gonna do my mascara and a lip of some variety, and I'll be right back. All right, here is the final look with the Sorceress Smoke Palette. I am super, super happy with how this came out. And yes, I know that this is a very kind of neutral look, despite it being like intensely sparkly and you know having different shades and having the bit of smokiness on the outer edge, but I'm super happy with it. This is a look that I can tell I will wear very often. And I kind of love that there are different routes you can go with this color story. Like you can go super smoky purple if you want at the bottom. You can go like grungy green blues at the top. There you go. You can kind of see like the bluish tint to that now. You can go completely neutral. You can go pink. You can go in a lot of different directions with this but all of the colors work together very well. Like I don't see any of these colors clashing. The color story is so cohesive, so beautiful. And these colors applied like a dream. Like I said, there was that one spot in the outer corner that I am convinced is just from my base or something like that, that is not the shadow because on this side it applied completely fine. But, oh, I really, 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 really like this look. And I'm super happy with the quality of this. Like each time that I've tried Unearthly Cosmetics, the quality is what consistently blows me away. And I'm not gonna lie, I think the price point seems kind of high and $65 for a palette is an investment 100%. But if it is an investment you can afford to make, I do think that this is a great way to do it. It's a really good quality palette. Maybe they'll have some Black Friday sales. That would be wonderful. Maybe I can find you some affiliate codes that can get you a discount off of this palette. That would also be wonderful. But I would definitely keep an eye on this one. Don't discount it. The color story is really, really stunning. 
But that's it. Let me know how you like this look. Let me know if you like this palette. How do you feel about unearthly cosmetics in general? Have you tried them yet? Is it somebody that's on like your must buy list? Again, I did also receive the fall magic palette from them. So that will be coming in another video if it is not up already. But Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, it is because you all watch my channel that I can have opportunities to try stuff like this and brands even want to send me stuff. It's because of you guys and your support and your interaction and I'm so thankful every single day for you. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you're super freaking rock stars. You, you. Super freaking rock star, that's you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.